Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be playing Call of Cthulhu. It is a game where you're a private investigator searching the uh, town for a mysterious death of a family. <clears throat> and uh, everything goes wrong. If you know, uh, this game came out a little while ago and it was kind of popular, kind of not. And I'm kind of trying to shine light on games that not a lot of people have played before. Um, but enough people have played where you kind of heard of the name. So it's going to be like a new series of obscure, obscure horror games. Not not too indie, but at the same time, something I've never played before and most likely you haven't either. So without further ado, man, let's jump right into it. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Mm. Where is he at? Oh, where am I at? WASD to move. Pretty simple. Sprint. Where am I at? Good gosh. Oh, I don't got to turn around. Oh, I'm going around my Okay, that obviously isn't the right way. And that's probably why they were telling me to crouch. I need to go this way. There's like fog, but it's only in my face. You hey, see how I look around? It kind of looks like it's going through everything. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. How do I do that? Can I pick it up? I can. Sweet. What did I pick up? Bolt cutters. Oh, okay, cool. Means we can cut this. I want to go back the other way to see what was going on with. Who was that? Not fan how we just thrown into it. Like I have no idea what's going on at all. And why like there's we gotta be in like the Is that a killer whale? Is there a killer will in here? Oh, why is there rocks? Why is there killer wheels and rocks in the same spot? Is this a Cthulhu stomach, bro? What is that thing? <clears throat> oh. I hate whiskey. <laughs> I wouldn't blame that on the whiskey, my boy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I sleep on the couch a lot, and I coach can sometimes hit. I still take these things. The doctor prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swear that they would put an end to nightmares, but for a while now, their effect has been wearing off. Okay, escape. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. This dude's voice goes hard. Your daughter can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop the memories will return one of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment I hear, again I hear voices. I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? The Cthulhu, buddy. Okay, what is this? 
investigation. Six CP needed before next level. Investigating represents. So we have a skill tree. Oh, that's pretty neat. <clears throat> Mental trauma. Sweet. You don't have any information yet about Doc Wada. Uh, I have a great war. I decide. Okay. And we have a lighter. My old lighter that I grabbed in memory of the 77th Infantry Division in the Men of Lost Platoon. Okay. Gotcha. Have a drink? Yeah. Knock it back. I'm never going to take a drink from a man. I hope that's water, though. Though, most likely it's not. Let's go ahead and turn that off, please. Appreciate it. Hold on, I'm about to try something real quick. Alright, I done uh, played a controller in there because this game just seems like it'd be a lot better with a controller. The good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Our owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot we could do uh, against a private investigator, detective, who's got proof against you. <clears throat> hold on, hold on, man. I'm trying to look at some stuff. Archaeology. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Yikes. Feels bad, brother. I okay. used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. Alright, alright, alright. Wait, answer the phone now. Let's see what he's got to talk to me about. I'm listening. That's correct. Very specific. I'm Lucy Sherrifield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay. Oh, this is where we add what we want. Each character point allows you to improve your score of, your score of a skill. Okay. Um, knowledge of the occult sciences, improving the skill, increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts, and expressing your knowledge of the myth. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Spot hidden. Um, strength. How do I uh, remove? Okay. I can't remove now. Okay, what? Upgrade that. Why not make everything 2 out of 5 and then we'll add to... No, like a we'll add to him. Uh, what's name? Yeah, investigations. Obviously, we're an investigator. We gotta make that number one priority. Yes, please. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors, and it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Hmm. Mr. Pierce, do you still... Oh, my boy just hung up. He said he's not around here now. that. I'm coming. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Mm. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? God, no. Come to me. 
It means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. Oh. The painter. Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. I don't know, you gotta show me first, big dog. Oh. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay. Let's look at a painting first, because... It's kind of crazy. Beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. That's all we had to say. All right, cool. Are you behind me? Huh. A warehouse on Darkware. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. The shipping label some is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36 start order. The police report says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Frailty. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Why? A press cutting and articles written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Dark Water. They live in a recluse life there with their son, Simon. So, okay. Mr. Pierce. What do you make of these elements? Uh, you're asking the wrong guy. Read about uh, something's not right with the story. Where does Sir Hawkins live? I don't know about Sanders warehouse. Label mentions warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find warehouse 36. Okay. Um, I read about mental fragility in the police report. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Me personally, as soon as I hear that, I'll be like, yeah, nah, she might have been cuckoo. Uh, Darkwater. where does she live? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Um, we'll, we'll just say this all I'm to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Anything? Quiet down. Hmm. I'm on your side. Let some things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. Okay. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? queer. But it's not like I have a choice. 
dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, oh. it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Dark Island, Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes, but only the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic, gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous, tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Well, let's head that way down. See what these guys... Oh, I gamed a CP. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address. A warehouse set on the docks of the island of dark water. The place seems to be a starting point for Pierce's investigation. I guess we're off to see dark water now. You know the guy, the artist, talking about he's gonna pay us handsomely. I think that would get me on it as well. Focus home interactive presents. You definitely catch me going and find it out. I don't know what happened, especially you talking money, talking big fat stacks of cash. Come on now. I'm on the way, baby. I'm on the way. Even if she was a loony case. A game by Cyanide Studio. <laughs> I've seen this game, man, so many times, and I never... I was like, nah, I don't really feel like buying it, because I thought it was, like, just some dumb game. But it was on sale, and I was like, you know what? I've seen stuff. I had seen it, things here and there on YouTube about it. I was like, you know, we, we're going to try it out see how it is. We're almost there. Maybe it wouldn't make me feel any better. Guy gives me like Alan Wake and one vibes, like the beginning of the game. Oh. Where are we going? Call of Cthulhu. But there are like mountains in the middle of the ocean. Cecilia. This also reminds me, of a uh, uh, reminds me of a movie I was I, I watched the other day. Um, it was a while back, but it was about Dracula, and he's like an actual like real vampire. Like he doesn't look like a human; he looks like a like a giant bat. It was a really good Dracula movie. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Who's he talking to? His man or me? Welcome to Dark Water Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? <laughs> ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Oh. Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Sweet. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Yeah, set up nicely. I would hate to live here, though. Good. I hope it doesn't look like this 24 7. Because it suck. Talk to Bradley. Who is Bradley? It's got to be this guy back this way, right? 
Do I have feet? I don't have feet. You gotta be Bradley, right? Nope. Is Bradley the guy on... Nope, can't get back on there. I hope Bradley wasn't the guy he just told me was at the bar. Let's just run up in there and see what we got to talk about. Can we hear what they're saying? You guys know the killer will. Oh, fish. this is Bradley. A fish? You've got no... The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. Yeah, but like you what? You can't understand. You're not sailors. Do we have killer whales near Boston? There's like in, re in real life? I don't know. Same goes for you, sir. Move along. Uh... Out of your depth? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make a mad. Let's ask about where else. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. <laughs> now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Uh-uh. Something real bad. You better listen to him. I know that, you know, people got those little, like, quirks. A little stories they got about stuff, man, but... Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. But I'll be honest. Some of them things, they got... I mean, there's reasons why they, they like the way they are. Oh, that's wild. Oh, Lord. Hey, be careful. Oh, so I'm like that, huh? Let's get him another drink. <laughs> In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Uh, come on now. Uh, let's do that one. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real prince, then. You strut around with your la-di-da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You got to earn it. Come on now. I'm here for information. Not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. That sounds good. Um, let's do uh, find out about Dark Water. Let's do that. What one. can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Uh, true that they were strange. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable. You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Uh, uh, I've got what I need. Anything else? The warehouse. Oh, no. Stranded okay. whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back... Sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What happened, though? Let's find out about... Do you know where, where this else? place is? 
Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Oh, Lord. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Mm, I think that's everything. Order a drink? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. <laughs> Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? So he ain't gonna give me a drink? Come That'll on be now. All for now. Maybe later, my boy. Do we talk to... I wonder if we talk to these guys. You like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. The end of whaling. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. <laughs> they all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. I've what is this song? this song before? Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I know you could eat, Will. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Should I tell him? Let's look at this text. I want to see miraculous this. catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. The Cecilia returns to port to save Dartwater from famine. We had given up hope the crew of Cecilia or what remains of it returned to Dartwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last willing ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board of a size that went beyond that of the formidable, formidable tooth whales, the cetacean. That is already being called the miraculous catch covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging all over the size, side of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening account of the perilous catch. <laughs> Excuse me, but also of its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritionist benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of the well will allow numerous inhabitants of Dartwood to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks has put his warehouse for rent from June. For fishing workshop or storage activities, you can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Special in the evening. Celebrate. Da, 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 da. Okay. Well, we read about that. And talk to them. Already hit, buddy. It, it gives like a... It's like Bioshock kind of uh, way. What you looking at, stranger? Oh. She could certainly put them away. What does that even mean? As a woman like you, uh, we'll just I'm be just nice. I'm just passing by. Sorry. Let me drink, stranger. Is that supposed to be like disrespectful? Them calling me stranger or something? Let's talk to old buddy. He's the last person I talk to. Mm, nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. He's got to be talking about something that refers to the game. Let's go talk to old Fitzroy then. He'll be up here in the Harbor Master. Oh yeah, my boy, let's shut the door. Can't leave the door open, you know what I'm saying? I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. 
but in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. No, uh, so he's got to talk These about These manifests him. are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible, 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Ah. A cella. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. All right, go walk around everywhere, okay. Second volume teaches ethics and good practice to medical staff. Medicine progression. Oh, that, that upgrades my stuff. That's pretty neat. Collecting the books and all. We're just right in Buddy's Matt cabinet. And Fitzroy could be twins. Photograph a man looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. What a macabre souvenir. I don't even know what that word means. But I'll take it using context clues. It means a nice souvenir. I would think. Oh, he's out this way. Anything else? Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy Captain. has got to say about this woman. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You can afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Yikes. Threatening letter. It sounded very threatening. I don't know how I feel about her talking to somebody like that. Shut the door, man. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hardworking lives of my sailors. The fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Uh, we're gonna say that one. Manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Well, obviously. Uh, we'll I'm do that one. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. Uh, I'm warehouse. I'm Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. I don't know which one I'm looking at. The blue one or the other one? Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Uh, the Hawkins family. A lie? Uh, it belongs to the name? Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Uh, I shall uh, be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Sounds good, buddy. I think I'm going to cut it off right there, the first part, that is. Um... It, it seems like a pretty decent stopping point. Uh, but the game altogether obviously feels a lot, uh, very polished. This feels like a triple A type game, like Bioshock or something, honestly. Um, the way everybody acts and everything looks, like, it doesn't look bad at all. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the video, man, or enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, dog, like, come subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.